Planes are created so features can be created at different angles or different locations. They are also useful when adding assembly constraints. To create a plane, either select Plane from the Insert menu or right-click in the workspace and select Insert Plane from the pop-up menu. An offset plane is created by selecting an existing plane or planar face. A plane parallel to and offset from the YZ reference plane is required here. This piston is 4 inches in diameter, so an offset of 2 inches from the reference plane is created. Right click, select Insert Plane, select the reference plane, and enter a value of 2 inches in the distance box. Planes can be inserted onto cylindrical surfaces. Select the surface, then select a reference plane for it to be parallel to. The symmetry option creates a plane parallel with the cylindrical axes. The reverse option creates a plane on the opposite side of the cylinder from the mouse cursor. To properly insert a plane on a face, select the face itself. This is generally best practice. Two edges adjacent to a face may also be selected, but selecting the face itself to define the plane is preferable. Avoid selecting a non-parallel edge. The results may look right to the eye, but the resulting geometry may not be very precise. You can also create a plane through a selected axis parallel to a selected existing face. Select Insert Plane, select an axis, then select a surface, both of which must be parallel to the plane about to be created. Multiple linear copies of an existing plane can be inserted by selecting the base plane, then clicking on the Copy option box. This option is only available during the creation of a plane. In the dialog box, specify the distance between each of the copies, the number of copies, and indicate whether each copy will be relative to the previous copy or relative to the base plane. The value in the distance box determines the distance of the first copy from the selected base plane. The reverse option reverses the direction of the copies from the base plane. The bidirectional option inserts the specified number of copies on both sides of the selected base plane, doubling the total number of copies. You have just learned how to insert planes to features, how they can be created at different angles, and how they are also useful when adding assembly constraints.